Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video I'm bringing you another ROM review on a OnePlus One. In this uh, I will be sh showcasing you a great ROM that I have been using for a while. Actually I have been a very big fan of this ROM. I wanted to test it out for myself so I have installed it on my phone and uh, kept it using for like 3-4 to four days now and got uh, really good uh, performance out of it so that's why I am coming with a ROM overview or a review uh, about this one. It is actually the Carbon ROM, the very famous Carbon ROM, not as famous as Sign Engine or the other ROMs but the Carbon ROM has been really good. I have been using it. A lot of my mobiles I've also used it on a Note 3, a lot of devices. So yes, it is a good ROM. That's why I wanted to test it out personally myself for a long period of time, then come out with an overview about this ROM. And I was right, it is a great ROM on this phone also. So we'll get started. As you can see, everything is normal so far. But the great thing that I really liked about it is this small button over here. As you all can see, this small button does wonders for me. When you have a lot of notifications and when you are holding this phone, it's really difficult to reach the top of the status bar to slide it down. So I use this button a lot. I've used, I became familiar with this button on LG G3, yeah, they introduced this button on LG G3, LG introduced it and it is the notification toggle button. All your notifications will come down. Right now I have nothing on it, that's why it's showing no notification and to sw it will just come down, everything will be shown like this. You don't have to reach the status bar to uh, get a get your notifications as you can see I've just now installed it back again so that I can show you the stock experience on the phone it, uh, I've installed the gaps folder also I'll leave the links of everything uh, as always and we'll just dive right into the interface the features that it offers it offers these and guys these uh, it's not a nightly update it's usually 7 to 8 days uh, update so they collect all the information in a, in 5 or 6 days work on it and uh, come out with the update in like 7 or 8 days gap so whenever an update comes it is good it gets much, much better in in performing so we'll go back uh, go back into the mobile and check out what, what all this rom offers so first of all we'll go in the status bar menu uh, network activity arrows it can be disabled it can be enabled also it will show small arrows on the network that you are using and uh, if you are using Wi-Fi it will show on Wi-Fi if you are using your 3G or 4G whichever place you live in supported so it will show that and brightness controls as usual these are, this is the usual stuff that Sign Engine comes with. And notification count, that's also usual. So let's uh, get ahead. Show clock style, everything. Use, use seconds clock, it will show seconds also. And alignment, uh, center, right, left, everything is normal. A great ROM is which comes with no all the normal stuff and gets you with a little bit of more customization and still being stable. That's what a, in a, a great ROM for me is and Carbon has been doing that for a while and I'm showcasing that all in my video. So if you find this ROM to be a little bit simple, it is a little simple but it comes with much more stability. That's why I've been using it. So indicator is circles and a great thing about this is the do circle dots and lengths. It's actually using something specific as you can see on the circle. Yeah. So it's actually using it uh, like this. It looks good. We can change the color also and everything can be changed as always it's become blue now. So yeah. 
it looks good it is it is working well the network and uh, wifi connections i can traffic all all our usual stuff so far so colorize your system icons we can colorize it so we'll uh, we'll go back into the second menu now buttons uh, it comes with uh, it comes with, uh, with a good uh, thing good for some not good for any uh, it comes with a, it comes with a feature in which we can enable both hardware and software uh, software buttons like uh, the hardware buttons are also working as you can see it is working and uh, the software buttons are also working so it comes with uh, both the hardware button and software button can work together uh, not seen in many roms you can customize your power menu buttons also i've i've, uh, I've been using only these three so it shows on so i've been using only these three extra actually i've been using on these three extra so power button will be there and extra four or three so power and all three extra and so then we'll go into the navigation bar and in this we can customize a lot so in navigation bar we can enable it disable uh, disable it enable it navigation we can customize it so in this we can add a lot of buttons so as you can see we have added a lot of buttons and it will be a bit difficult to see right now but yeah right like this so yeah we can there's no limit to adding it and we can even uh, assign it a task if you short a short short press a button default and everything menu open menu search google now we can we can assign each and everything on it First of all, I leave it blank and delete all these. Yeah, and it's easy to delete also. Like just a swipe, and it will be deleted. And as you can see, it's getting better now. So we can assign anything on it: long press, uh, short press, double tap action, customize the icon. We can even customize the icon. So we need to select an icon image. We cannot select a normal gallery image. We need to select a uh, icon in a image which is easy to find. I don't have anything right now, but uh, it's easy to find. We can even customize the uh, height and the length of this. So I give it to 80%. That's good enough. Yeah. So in navigation bar also we can uh, customize double tap to sleep and everything is also in this. So yeah, it is working. But the button, this button is the best I have found it. And to enable it, what you have to do is go assign it a short press, a notification. The easiest, yeah, notification. So it will toggle your notifications menu. I really like this one actually. I'm a big fan of this thing. I've been finding it uh, after I left LG phones. So I found it on this from really good. And navigation rings also can be changed. This is uh, usual stuff. We can add a pie control. So we can add these buttons also and the style and dimension and everything. Trigger option. So trigger option is left I guess. Or the sent bottom. Uh, yeah, trigger from bottom and left. So from left it's like this, and from bottom it's l maybe bottom it won't work uh, very good because uh, we are already using on-screen buttons. It's still looking. Yeah, we need to swipe it like this from the bottom. So I'll switch it off. I don't use it interface we can customize the interface animations also gestures also so now we can even add gestures anywhere in this it is actually we have found the same thing on every rom so we can draw a gesture because we have not added a gesture so far 
if we have to uh, we have to add a gist over here so if we add just for like it will add it for settings no if we'll add a gist for calculator so c for calculator yeah so now it's added and if we uh, swipe it from left and see calculator is open yeah, it works pretty fine but I have not uh, used it a lot so I didn't uh, switch it on display and animations are all same animations app, uh, app circle bar, nothing great on this you can uh, you can fiddle around with all those settings if you really want to uh, pie chart we have shown not uh, interface also shown uh, notification drawer is all the same so right for quick, quick pull down smart pull down smart pull down is actually if you switch it on so if you switch it on and if we have notification if you switch it or uh, if you swipe it from right side it will only open the notifications like this and if uh, there are no notification if we switch it on if we sw swipe it from left side then uh, it will still uh, do it like this so uh, as uh, I will switch it off so now it's only like this and from only right so smart uh, notification is like it will detect what uh, from where you are uh, what your notifications you have then it will only show you notifications and uh, if you don't have any notification then it will show you that pretty cool so we can even custom the color options and everything status bar header and everything we can go uh, like uh, the weather yep so pretty good stuff and this is the clear button the and this is the recent uh, tabs so it will show you each and everything memory bar like 1.7 GB is free show search search Google search A clear all button which is really important and right side bottom after placed it we can place it anywhere like top right and bottom left anywhere it can be placed so yeah and clear all button if we have to toggle it then only so yeah advanced option comes with the what uh, comes with uh, the gestures that are there and this is something that I have not understood if uh, any of you understand this what is what it is then do tell me in the comments and I will try to uh, know it and if it's really re really good or really bad or really important then I will make a video regarding this the wall lock bl blocker but I really have no idea what about what is this maybe it's like uh, app blocking or something I really have no idea sorry guys so that's the common that's the uh, customization that uh, carbon room is uh, offering if you like this form, I will leave the uh, links to the description. Do check the do check this out. Do check this form out because it really looks good. It is smooth. It is working fine. I'm getting good battery life, and it has been working for, uh, great. Guys, this was a quick review, overview on the carbon ROM on OnePlus One, and I have made a lot of uh, videos by now on on different ROMs so do check all of them out if you really want to if you're really interested in installing any of those I will be making uh, some more because uh, uh, till the time uh, other any other phone gets delivered I, I bought I did buy the Euphoria but uh, the delivery of that phone is really very slow the, the estimated date is from 4th of June to 6th of June so by that time, if you really want to see any other specific video or any specific content, do connect to me and I will surely try to make that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, do hit the like button. If you didn't like, vote it down. But do leave a feedback what you didn't, what you didn't like or what you did like. If you really liked it, do share the video. Do subscribe to the channel. 
if you liked it or not, do subscribe, guys, because I really need subscribers to improve on my channel. Yes, I am uh, starting a new channel, but subscribers are really important. So do subscribe, guys. Help my channel a little also, please. And thank you for watching this video. I will be back soon. See you soon.